I have a box. G'day to all you lovely people and welcome back to my channel. I'm Kathy, and today I have an unboxing for you. A box of succulents actually from Succulents Online. I will put all their details together with the names of all the plants and the prices I paid in my description box below. <sighs> I have to admit, I have definitely rediscovered my love for succulents, but I generally find that the same succulents are sold pretty much everywhere at nurseries or Bunnings. And I'm starting to want a few different ones, which is why I placed the order. So I think I'll just get started unboxing this and showing you what I got. I have my trusty Stanley knife. And you know, I always have difficulties unboxing, but hey, what the hell? We will try anyway. My neighbours have decided to do some work today, so that is what you can hear in the background. Sorry about that. And yes, it is the end of November and I'm still wearing winter woolies because it's bloody cold. Ah, oh, yep, we have not had a decent spring at all this year. But I think the plants like it anyway. Outdoors anyway. Oh, that was easy. Well, easier than I thought anyway. <laughs> Oh, it is always so exciting doing an unboxing. I haven't done one in ages, have I? It seems every time I get them that it's too late to record and I don't really like leaving plants in boxes for too long because we've had a lot of delays with postage. Because we were in lockdown and not just us, also Sydney, the post was at least a week or two weeks late, more often than not. So we've got a little thank you note, which is really nice. And the plants are boxed like this. Lots of tissue paper. Oh, I love getting packages. <laughs> Tell me who doesn't, right? I think we all do, don't we? It's like getting a present, right? Christmas. Okay. So I've taken them all out of the box. They're all wrapped individually like this. And I couldn't remember how many I got. It's 10. <laughs> yeah, but you know, they're so tiny. I mean, look at them, right? And I think if you're going to order and pay for delivery, you may as well get a few. And I'm gonna make a mess. <laughs> I always make a mess. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> Oh, okay. First one. This is Crassula Isabella. Look at that. Calico Kitten. I know it's only tiny, but that's okay, right? Because it will grow. My experience of Crassulas is that they grow really, really fast. If this is anything like my Crassula Diane, it's going to grow so much that I'm going to have to continuously split it. But it's just so cute. I kind of like the pink on it. Adorable. What do you guys think? So, so cute. So that's the first. I'm trying not to make a mess. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. This is Graptocedum Nova. Look at that. Oh, wow. It's got lots of branches too. So adorable. Oh, I really like the coloring on this. Just too cute for words. They traveled really well too, considering they've been in the box for a while. But do you guys like it? Seriously, how cute is that? Oh just too adorable oh i love it <laughs> okay the next one i got this because of sarah leanne who has a youtube channel and the most amazing succulent collection i saw this plant on her channel and i thought wow i've never been a fan of aeoniums but 
this one is just gorgeous, especially when it gets some light. And that is this, Aonium Kiwi. It's just a baby, of course. The succulents grow very well in Melbourne. They do like our weather. It can get hot, but it can also get quite cool. And this one gets amazing coloring when it's under the sun, I think. Almost like a sunburst. It lost a couple of leaves. So I'm going to see if I can propagate that. Some of the others died, but that's okay. It's still quite healthy. But just too cute, isn't it? So I'm very glad I finally got that. Oh, one of the leaves is snapped as well. That's okay. It'll recover. I bought a mixture of things. Oh, <laughs> okay, this is just too adorable. Oh, seriously. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that just too cute for words? I do have a thing for tiny little leaves and these are tiny. <laughs> it's a nice little cutting too, isn't it? Just gorgeous. This is Cressler David. I really like the colouring on the leaves. They're slightly darker and they're just so tiny and so cute. Seriously, just too cute for words. Oh, okay. I am falling in love with Callan Coes. Look at this. Look at the colouring. It's very pale with a bit of pink or dark pink to it. It's not even pink. It's more kind of a purplish color. This is Kalankoe Aerophila. I do love these ones. They're just too adorable. So cute. It's tiny, of course, but they grow and they grow fast, these ones. The other Kalankoes I bought earlier in the year, which is maybe what, at least nine months ago, that has grown so much. <laughs> okay. Wow. <laughs> Can you see how fuzzy it is? <gasps> I do love fuzzy plants. This is Echeveria Doris. I think that's right. Doris Taylor, sorry. I don't often see Echeverias that are this fuzzy. Looks a bit like the Kalankoes, but oh my God, look at that. Great colouring too, isn't it? Just beautiful. It's got some dead leaves, but that's okay. It's travelled well, actually. Just so cute. Oh, I just love little plants like that. Because I know they'll grow. Oh, this looks like a sedum or a crassula. No, I was right. This is sedum golden goddess. So cute. This one I know gets a golden tinge to it. I think it's a trailer as well. I have something similar but in a different colour. Pat's pink I think. But this one I think gets more a yellowy colour to it. Which is why it's called Golden Sun. And I think it might be a trailer as well. Very cute. Next. Three more. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I do like this one. And it's got a baby too. Echeveria chroma. I love this one. And it's got a baby as well. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I love this one. I love the color. Just beautiful. I love these ones that are slightly darker in tone compared to some Echeverias or succulents because I have a lot of green succulents or different shades of green That's why I'm always looking for succulents that have different shades different colors that I don't have and this one reminds me very much of the I think it's Malaco oh, Beautiful. I love this one. This one I think so far is one of my favorites And the Crashula David. I love that one too. <laughs> Oh, too cute. 
Ah, oh, this must be the frilly one. I think it's frilly. Yeah. Echeveria Pinwheel Revolution. Look at the amazing colours on that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love the colour. It's pale blue and purple, or tinges of purple. And this one is more of a frilly Echeveria. I don't have many frilly Echeverias. So I thought, why not add something different, right? So cute. Just gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, last one, which is tiny. <laughs> yeah, this one is tiny. This one is cute as well. Echeveria Cubic Frost. So, so cute. Isn't this adorable? They're all adorable, aren't they? Okay, I love them all. I think they're all gorgeous. I've been wanting to do some larger succulent planters outdoors because these are all going to go outdoors. I don't think I'm going to keep any inside. I haven't decided. When I got my last set of succulents, which was, I can't even remember when, but I think it was in autumn, I basically just potted them up and thought once it gets a bit warmer, I will put them in bigger planters together. I don't really want tons of little pots everywhere. I'm trying to actually lessen the pots I have outdoors rather than increasing them. And I bought these so that I can make the planters any which way I like with different colors and different kinds of succulents. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. And I will record it so I can show you what I decide to do because I have no idea at the moment. But that is why I bought them all. I think it cost me $100 for the 10 of them. Yeah, succulents aren't that cheap in Australia. I don't mind though, because they grow and they multiply so easily. They really do. Now I'm going to pot them up. I'll probably put them in one large pot for now, just temporarily, until I create the succulent planters that I want to make but they have to go into soil. Though I won't water them immediately unless they look like they need some water and they don't look like they do. Well, that is all I have for you guys today. And of course, I want to know which one of my new succulents is your favorite. And you can put it down in the comments or you can let me know on Instagram. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me. I really do appreciate it. And if you like this video, you can do the usual. You can like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I will see you next time. Bye.